Wanted to create beautiful cakes but didn't know where to start? Hi, my name is Anna and in this video I'm going to show you my favorite tools and supplies I would buy if I need to start with cake decorating again. So let's begin! If you're just starting out and you wanted to build your portfolio, I would suggest you to practice and create dummy cakes like you see I have here in my studio. And to make my dummy cakes, I prefer to use styrofoam dummies, something like this, and you can easily find them at your local cake supply store or I buy mine on Amazon. And also another very useful tool or a piece of equipment is these acrylic discs that you can use as a base to serve your cakes on or to cover your cakes with buttercream or ganache. This is 8 inches and these are very useful. I have them on hand all the time. If you're not very professional in covering your cakes with fondant, I would suggest you to add some decorations using different molds. My favorite are this mold, this one very flexible, this is called um, flower number two by the first impression molds. Also, these are two that I use all the time. You can create different keyholes and different borders because I honestly do not like covering my cakes in fondant, so I need to have some creative tools to cover up those seams or imperfections. And if you know me, I work with wafer paper. I like creating wafer paper flowers and different decorations for my cakes. I buy my wafer paper on Amazon. I use Oasis supply brand and I buy two both grades of FIFA paper. So I buy zero grade FIFA paper, which is this one, and also I buy premium, which is 0.27 millimeters or 80 grade FIFA paper of Amazon all the time. To shape my wafer paper petals, I use this foam board. You can use the same if you're working with gum paste, but I like the thickness and how soft it is, so it works for wafer paper application. And if you're looking for a solution to help your wafer paper petals to hold its shape, I have a set of this uh, semispheres. These are silicone molds, semisphere, and you can buy a whole set. And I use this set for all my flowers, large one like this for peonies. You can see these cavities are about, I would say, two inches in size. And smaller ones for my ranunculuses or smaller flowers like sweet peas, I like this set a lot. I would suggest you to invest a good, in a good pair of scissors. I use this craft ones because they are relatively sharp and easy to hold. You can see this pair is easy on my wrist and I can cut a lot of wafer paper petals at the same time using this pair of scissors. And my favorite mold of Amazon is this peony mold. It makes, because it's so soft and flexible, it helps me to create any flower I want. I use this veneer all the the time to create all, most of my flowers like wafer paper poppies or ranunculuses and I put a link right here so you can learn how to vein your wafer paper if that's what you're looking for. And to create easy wafer paper flowers I like using craft punches. My favorite brand is this Ica Tools and you probably saw this craft punch many times. I use it for my gold reef and for a lot of flowers and decorations. So I have this one. This is Hydrangea. Also I love this large branch because you can create easy foliage and I have tutorial how to use this craft punch and create very easy wafer paper foliage. And this is a new one, I just bought it and I wanted to create beautiful lace using this craft punch. Another very important thing to have on hand, piece of equipment tool, if you're working with gum paste flowers or wafer paper flowers, is this silica gel packets. I prefer this exact brand because they are food safe, so if you're going to keep your cakes for longer or even if you're going to deliver your cakes, you can invest in this silica gel packets. These are reusable and I keep them around my cakes or inside boxes with my flowers, especially if I need to make my wafer paper flowers or decorations in advance. So this is a great thing to have on hand. And of course, 
You probably know my favorite tool I use all the time for my paper paper is this mini steamer. It's called Tana steamer or micro steamer and it sprays micro sprays with water. This is plain water. I prefer to use this still, but it's made to moisturize your face or I use it to add moisture to my VP paper to be able to shape it and create. So this is another tool that I would suggest you to have if you are just starting out with wafer paper. And if you want to place your cakes in the fridge with sugar flowers or wafer paper flowers, you will need to have this humidity gouge. It shows you right now, it says that the humidity in my city is 36%, which is extremely low. So I know when I'm going to make my wafer paper flowers, I would use more conditioner to make it flexible and to stay it soft for longer. If you saw any of my tutorials, especially how to make wafer paper flowers, I make my own acid tonic mixture, which is Astashkina Cakes Tonic, which is an alcohol-free wafer paper conditioner, and it's glycerin-based. I buy my glycerin of Amazon, this is by Wilton, and I always have it on hand because I need it to make my own conditioner. And if you would like to get my recipe for my conditioner, you can go to my website astashkinacakes.com it's absolutely free i want everyone to try it and make your own wafer paper flowers and to make the base for my flowers i prefer to use these wires i prefer to use pme brand if you're just starting out i would suggest you to buy 20 gauge wire and 26 gauge wire in white because then you can cover or you can paint it whatever you need but you will need 26 to make your leaves and to make your petals and 20 to make your stems for most flowers. And same goes for floral tape. I buy my floral tape of Amazon. My favorite colors are white and this light green. And another fancy tool, not necessary but very useful, is this tape cutter. So you just place your tape here in the middle and it shreds your floral tape in half, especially if you're creating wafer paper flowers and you need your floral tape to be half with, uh, to make it lighter and to make it more delicate. Have something like this floral tape shredder is very useful. This is by Gem and I bought it off Amazon. And a few tools I use, those are not necessary, but those are tools and materials I love to use and they make my life easier and help me to create wafer paper flowers and decorations much quicker. First is this cordless airbrush because uh, I used to have a regular normal size airbrush and it's so heavy and it's uh, extremely complicated to clean. I found this one, you can recharge it and you can use it on your table without any cords on or worries about finding an outlet next to your table. So I have this one and you can also uh, use my acetonic mixture in this airbrush to airbrush your petals and make it flexible. So when I deliver my cakes, I always have it on hand with me just in case I need to make it my petals flexible or I need to adjust some color on my cake. So cordless airbrush, very useful. Also, for my cakes to add decorations, I like to use confectioner's glaze. It won't melt wafer paper or fondant, but it makes it so sticky that if you're going to apply any cornmeal or something for your, to your stamens or to your centers, this will make it sticky enough and it will dry extremely quick, like in two minutes you can continue working on your flowers or your cake decorations. If you need to attach any pearls or if you need to attach heavier decorations such as uh, glitters to your flowers or to your cakes, I prefer to use clear piping gel. This is Wilton, you can buy any brand of clear piping gel. But if you saw any of my tutorials, you know I use this all the time because it's clear, it's edible, and this piping gel won't melt your wafer paper as well. 
And last suggestion I would have is to invest in safety seal because if you're going to make your flowers or decorations using any wires, you're not supposed to put them inside your cake. You need to cover your wires with floral tape and then you need to cover your floral tape and make it food safe. So your wire or your floral tape is not going to touch any edible components of your cake. And this safety seal is a food safe wax. You melt it in the microwave and then you dip your stems into this mixture, let it dry and solidify. You can see it's solid at room temperature and it makes it food safe. So then you can insert your flowers into your cakes. And now you have it. These are my favorite and most used tools and materials to create beautiful cakes using fondant, using FIFA paper, working with gum paste. And if I need to start again and buy everything all over again, I would buy these things first and I would create a few cake dummies using fondant, using molds, add FIFA paper flowers with craft punches and create beautiful cakes for my portfolio to help me start with uh, cake decorating and to have something to post on social media. Thank you for watching. My name is Anna Stashkina. And if you would like to learn more about working with Wi-Fi people and create modern decorations, visit my website astashkinacakes.com. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.